Hello, all of you beautiful people out there. My name is Majestic Muffin, and welcome back to my channel. And welcome back to Simulacra. So last time, where we ended off, we had to track Cassie to find James. We also had to find James through his workplace. And, you know, of course, find Anna. You know, that's mildly important. Um, so let's check Jabber. Let's, can we search her up on Jabber? Ah, uh, no, stop. Where do we find her? Ah, uh, here we are. Can we... Okay. So we're following her on Jabber. But where do we... Send help. Should we go? Hmm. What was this workplace? Where did you say you worked? <laughs> Message corrupted. Aha. Uh -huh. Fresh ideas. The punny place. Your problems are solutions. Web design. Impressive websites and apps are derived from elegant ideas. Branding. App development. Join us. Oh, that's creepy. Please fill out your details below. I want to wear a represent. Oh, my name is. Why did you do that? Stop. Need to know stop. Anna. Um, what's our email address? <laughs> I'm just like, Anna at cmail.web. Okay, see, we're getting somewhere. Stop. <laughs> okay, Anna. Anna at cmail dot web position like work position because we were um because we work for a security company so Security company? <laughs> Sorry, the position you were applying for. Oh, we have to apply for a position. Oh, okay. Okay, so did what did you do then? Fresh ideas. Welcome back to my stupidity, everyone. Okay, so come back. Um My position at Fresh Ideas is still open. Well, where do you work? I mean, Fresh Ideas, but like, copywriter. Okay. Let's try this again. Anna. Anna at cmail. cmail.com. Position copywriter. Yeah, thank you. We will send you an email shortly. Please ensure that your email is correct to receive your input. Now we wait. This is fun. Okay, let's go back to chats. I know it's offline. In the meantime, I will give Spark a call. Maybe they have something on just James person. Most resources to figure out who this James person is. I think I need to track this Cassie person down. And call his workplace. Oh. 
dev a number fine then fresh ideas yeah and add cmail dot oh wait I did he <laughs> sent the wrong email it's Anna at cmail dot web Anna at no, not gmail cmail dot web oh cat oh my gosh my cat is on my keyboard <laughs> at cmail dot web copywriter there we go. See, we're getting somewhere. Thank, or er, dear Anna, thanks for your interest in a grow. Oh my gosh, I can't read. I can't read. And joining our ever growing family. Before we commence the interview, it is our policy to engage a preliminary chat with all of our applications beforehand. Uh, when you are ready, please contact our HR representative, Phil. He will guide you through the entire process. Um, let's go. I'm ready to talk to Phil. Phil is offline. Oh, if any of you want to talk soon, please wait. This conversation will be recorded for internal use online. But it's texting. Howdy there. Oh, great. Is this Anna? <laughs> I might have filled in the wrong one. Yes, this is me. Neato. Oh my gosh. I'm Phil. From Fresh Ideas. Our... Or feel fresh, as some of my buds call me. Get it? Feel fresh? Jeez. This is just an informal chat. Uh, so just loosen up and save it and save for the big interview later, eh? So, you ready? Can I ask the questions instead? <laughs> yep. Um. Let's still pretend to be Anna for a bit. Just a little bit. Yep. Ask away. Coolio. Oh, my gosh. Five years from now, what do you see yourself doing, eh? Made an impact on your company's bottom line. Developed the skills to manage other people. Get to the point where I... I get to the point where I can tell people what to do. Um, this sounds better. Developed the skills to manage other people. Gunning for the manager, eh? Well, we are a tiny firm. Anything can happen in five years. Next question. Why should I hire you? I have learned stuff which might bring unique value. I've got other talents besides writing. Because I want to be the very best, like no one ever was. To catch them is my real test, to train them is my cause. <laughs> I've learned stuff which might bring unique value. I'd be glad to know what those stuff are. Last question. Why do you want to work here? I think we share the same principles and culture. You guys are the pinnacle of your industry. James Olner spoke highly- Oh yes. James Olner spoke highly of you guys. Do you know James? Haven't heard that name in a while. Sorry, bud. Why are you asking this? <laughs> so I won't repeat it. I want to know what working for you is like. Uh, he said you guys fired him unfairly. Um. Because I, I want to know what working for you is like. You know. That's the kind of forward thinking we are looking for. It's a shame, really. We had to let him go because of his unprofessional behavior. Is there a misunderstanding? Did he screw up or is he a criminal? Um, unprofessional. I don't, I don't think of criminal when I hear the word unprofessional. Was there a misunderstanding? I really am not sure. To be frank, I'm not at the liberty to discuss any personal matters. All I can say socially, he was one of our best. He gets along with people well and generally like generally likable, but that kind of changed. What do you mean? Yes, what do you mean? He broke off with his girlfriend and of course he was upset, but he's still himself until he got spark. Since then he's been showing up late, he grew distant. Then one day he just vanished. Didn't show up for work? Yeah, you gotta be more specific, Phil. My eyes might be deceiving me, but I was so sure of what I saw. He went into the bathroom for quite some time. Then I heard a strange noise coming from it. I even, I even recorded it. Listen. 
checked and no one was there. That was the last time anyone saw him in person. Didn't we hear that noise in Anna's apartment? Did you contact him since? We tried. Since then he never showed up for work. No, no phone calls, no emails, nothing. So we terminated him. Yeah, that doesn't seem unfair at all. That seems actually incredibly fair. Plus, our big project coming up, we really don't need this right now. I understand. I do. That makes sense. Well, most of it. What's weirder is that after he disappeared, we found his phone on his desk. We tried checking it, but I think it was broken because it kept glitching out. Some say they still see him on Jabber. Some female friends even saw him on Spark. Whatever happened to that kid, I think he needs help. Professional help. That's all I need. Oh, sorry, went off on a tangent there. Think, thanks for the interview. We will call you if you got the position. I thank you. Uh, uh, Jabber. It's gonna be what? We already liked and comment. Something to think about. I feel what? This is the guy who posted this on Jake. Anna, Anna, where the heck are you? Me every Wednesday. It, oh, that okay. Mm. Let's go here. I called this workplace. Couldn't find Cassie. Fresh ideas, isn't it? What have you got for me? James went missing as well. No way. Yeah, way. What cat? This kind of confirms what I found as well. Calling fresh ideas is a great plan. I think we got some great leads. So, you spoken to Cassie? She might be able to share some intimate secrets about James, if you know what I mean. I did not speak to Cassie. And, uh, can we talk? Oh my gosh. I really want to tell her, <laughs> but I don't want to make her worry. Of course. You remember when I told you to make the Spark profile? Yeah, you made one for me. It made me realize something. It was a defense mechanism for something. Something that I can't hide anymore. Yeah? What you talking about, Ashley? Ever feel like you could lie to yourself so much you end up lying to others? Well, what's on your mind? You're not alone to feel that way, are you kidding? What's on your mind? Here's the thing. Anna, you're the only bestie I ever had. I feel like I could tell you anything and trust you with that. Uh, Ashley. See, I thought having BFFs is supposed to feel like the- what? But I think I'm confusing it with something else. What are you talking about? I think... I think there's a reason why I did never get along with guys. Uh-huh. Jeez, get on with it, Ashley. And it's the same reason why I hated seeing you go out with Greg. Or anyone else. I'm just gonna cut to the chase, okay? I. Have. Feelings. Oh, no. There, I said it. You don't have to respond. You can ignore this if you want. Pretend it never happened. It's the fourth glass... It, wait, it's the fourth glass talking, so don't listen to it. Oh my gosh. Sorry, I, I can't keep this up anymore. Huh? What's wrong? I am not Anna. I had to tell her, okay? What's up with you? You know you've been acting really weird re recently? Anna, is that... Is really you. Please call me now. Hello? I know you're there. Why aren't you speaking? If anything happens to her, it's on 
you. Explain. You just texted that. Why aren't you talking? I can barely hear you. Where the hell is Anna? It's a long story, but she's missing. She's missing. Since when? It's right after I told you about Yolanda, isn't it? I knew something was wrong. Is Greg involved? You lied to me. Yeah, I couldn't do it anymore. I wasn't trying to. Well, I, I was trying to lie to you. I couldn't do it anymore. I'm sorry. Greg? No, no, they are done. Is he involved? No. We're done talking. Great. What's over here? Talk to Taylor about... <laughs> she needs to know. Yeah. Talk to Taylor about James' behavior. I know about Cassie. And James. Or James or Cassie. Oh, should we go to Spark and talk to him about it? Oh, hey. Oh, so. I think so, I guess. I'm gonna download Spark. Spark. Yes. Online dating is happening. But I figure I deserve to be happy and forget about everything else. Aw, yeah, you do. And there's no point wasting time. So, here I go. That's the worst that could happen. Okay. Oh, you know, could go missing. And what's the worst that could happen? Can I talk to Taylor in here? Dang it, why not? Okay. Um, so Cassie, 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 find out more about James through Cassie. Talk to Taylor about James' behavior. What? Oh, make sure that Ashley never finds out about Anna's disappearance. Oh, wait, no, ah, no, I did not mean. Um, okay. Let me like. How? Can we look her up on server? Surf. Let me surf. Um. Oh no. How do we find Cassie? Let's go back to Spark. Ah, stop. Um. Yikes. Good morning. I'd rather talk about you. Oh. Jump scares. <laughs> Hello? This is Detective Marillo from the police department. We have strong evidence to suggest that you are holding on to a missing person's phone. We also have reason to believe that you are working with an accomplice named Greg Summers, conspiring to keep Anna's disappearance a secret. This is an obstruction of justice, and I am afraid I will have to bring you and Greg in for questioning. Please, a woman's life is at stake here. We are reasonable. If you can assist us with the investigation, there will be no charges. Call me back if you change your mind. Uh, <laughs> well. Jeez. Way to go, Ashley. I was just trying to help. Dang it. Didn't they say that she was a jabber influencer? Match with this girl named Cassie, also known as Keeping a Cassie. Jabber celeb, are you even real? He is real. Can I edit profile? Oh, I thought it changed for a second. Did it change? I don't think it did. Oh well. Um. Let's go back to Jabber. Today's gonna be a good day. Yeah, until you went missing. Ah. 
Stop it. Okay. I have no idea what I'm doing. Okay, maybe... Okay, let's go back to Jabber. Okay. And yeah, maybe there's something hidden here. That's the end of the contest. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. Contest? Case study. Cassie, why are you... Uh -huh. Why are some of the best English words made up of four letters? I don't know, Cassie. One day I'm going to wear my grandma's sweater. Today is not that day. New GOT episode in eight hours. The movie should not be three hours long. My bladder can't handle it. <laughs> Two days in a row, the barista spelt my name as Cassie. What? That's not even like... It's nine in the morning. Why am I having Chinese food? Keep an eye out for my upcoming post. Find the hidden phone number. If you figure it out, just call me for your AMA with me. Oh. Oh, I see. Okay, so... Hmm. Oh, wait. Is it in the picture or is it in the words? Nine. It's nine in the morning. Nine. Two days in a row. Two. Okay, nine. I'm going to write this down. Nine, two. Eight, paper. Nine, two. Let's hope this is right. Nine, two. Should not be longer than three hours. Nine, two, three. It's an odd number. Eight. Nine, two, three, eight. One. Nine, two, three, eight, one. Four. <laughs> Zero. <laughs> is that it, or is there... That's the end of my contest. Okay. So let's call this a number then. Nine, two, three, eight, one, four, zero. Boom! Hiya, this is Keepin' It Cassie. Congratulations! You figured out the secret number! As you know, you get to ask me one question for my upcoming AMA thread. So please be patient as I will contact you on my next availability. We'll be texting you soon. Sweet. We're amazing. So now we just have to wait for a text. Boom. Got your number. It's first come, first serve. So let me finish up with the earlier winners. I'll get back to you once I'm done. Can't wait. Can I text you? Achievement unlocked. Ask her anything. Hey, yeah. You're up. It's your turn to AMA. Remember, you only get one question. Huh. Can I ask you more than one question? I'll keep it to one. Maybe. Awesome possum. What? Okay. Ask away. How well do you know James Olner? Say what? Him? Guessing she knows. How the hell do you know about him? You're asking the question now? He is a person of interest. Are we gonna impersonate a police officer again? You want you want dirt on him or something? Way way go through me? Don't you have normal questions to ask? Like what do I think about climate change? Or the state of social media media shaping consumerism. You know, normal questions. Last one is not a normal question. They stand for anything. Ugh, fine. If that's what you really want to know, only two conditions. First, tell me why you need info on him. It's a matter of, huh, that's not scary at all. It's a matter of life and death. Uh, he's a key witness in a disappearance. 
<laughs> Sweet Jebus, I knew something was up. I could have been kidnapped? Yes. Possibly? I'm not sure. Look, I'm not sure what you heard, but... This sounds seriously... What? Oh, like, effed up? Like, E-F-F-E-D? That's weird. Okay. If it's gonna help someone else, I will tell you everything. But, this is between us. My second condition is that we keep this between us, okay? Sure. We love lying to people. It's a deal. Okay, let me start from the top. I keep my island persona, at keeping Cassie, and my real life separate. My real name is Cassandra. Keeping Cassie has always been single, but I'm not. I had a long-time boyfriend, but I was dumb. So I went on Spark and chatted with a few guys to get over it. That's when I met James. Did he act weird? Nothing at the beginning, actually. It started out fine. He was a real charmer. Seemed... Or it seems to tell me all the right things. After coming off a crappy relationship, I was at a low place. He gave me some perspective and plenty of good advice. Uh, then he started to get more things right about me. Hmm. Sounds creepy to me. Yeah, because that's what he did with Anna. That is nothing. Wait till you hear this. He starts to text me exactly when I finish my work. I don't have a regular schedule. They change every week. Days, even. But he somehow managed to text me at exactly the right time. There was a photo shoot that ended at 2 a.m. He texted me the, more, the moment the photographer called it a wrap. Does he ever sleep? <laughs> Soccer much? Here is the final straw. He knew about the breakup. Hmm. I worked my butt off to keep my relationship a secret for the sake of Aki being Cassie. And somehow James knew. I confronted him and he told me he guessed it. Look. That's the last time I heard from him. Uh, so, did your online persona... something your boyfriend away? How the hell did you know about this? I just took a guess. Guessing exactly when I wake up and when I finish work, that is just plain creepy. Finding out about my jabber and boyfriend, that is pure sorcery. No one else knows about this. Who the hell are you? Are my methods too uncomfortable? We are done. You have blocked, James. That's the last time I heard from him. Maybe your BF spilled the beans? He loved me and he respected my work. My separate lives can be quite a strain, but he would never do something like that to me. That's it. That's all I'm saying. Just thinking about him makes my hair stand. My story is going to save lives. You know, I read somewhere that psychopaths try their best to fit in. I feel James is kind of like that. Hope you got what you need. There is something off about him. Ooh, new thingy. Talk to Taylor about James' behavior. Taylor. Track down Cassie. <laughs> that jabber, honey. Did she kiss and tell? Good lord. Her real name is Cassandra. What? At keeping a Cassie as a persona? Wow, I never knew. That is interesting, but that's not important. What about James? Um, he's able to make unnatural guesses about her, just like he did with Anna. So he's either some next level stalker, or there's something to him that we don't really know. Never mind. We know James is maximum creep material. Creepy enough to kidnap Anna, perhaps. Okay, he showed me yours. Now let me show you mine. I found something about James, too. Educate thyself, freedom to alternate effects, power through different troops. But the fake mass media do not want you to see the- Oh jeez, that was loud. About the recent disappearances on dating apps. First of all, I want to- Oh, this is so much. How far this story goes. First of all, I want to commend the local news coverage on escalating this horrible trend to a whole new level. Just when I thought they couldn't sink any lower, they did. Downplaying the seriousness of this issue and treating all the victims, blah blah blah. This has to be stopped. Okay, for you readers, I have a scoop. I was working with a local detective. Who? See if there was any connections to the crimes. And oh boy, was the rabbit hole deeper than Bill Gates' wallet. <laughs> well, why am I doing this? Because there was something strange going on with Spark. 
First of all, none of these crimes are fully representative. Are there violent crimes? Uh, but somehow the media fails missing to mention the missing crimes. Why didn't they use words like kidnapping or MIA? Safe assumption, right? Uh, look at this graph that was hacked from an internal law enforcement report regarding these crimes. Notice something? A big yellow line labeled missing. No one seems to bother mentioning this. First one, Tracy P. 22-year-old art student loves books and staying indoors. According to her best friend, after ending a long-time relationship with her high school sweetheart, she went on spark trying to fill the void. A few days after that, she went missing. Last time she was seen, right before meeting someone. Her friend can't recall the name, but pretty sure it starts with an S. Next, Simon B. 24-year-old waiter. Uh, studying for a law program on the side. His roommate told him that he recently called off his long-distance long relationship and wanted to try spark to meet new people. A couple days later, he didn't come home. Last time he was seen going up to meet a girl named Amy, he was never seen again since. Amy T. Uh, a strange relationship with her mom. It was a strain on her relationship with her then-boyfriend. They soon called it off. One of the spark dates rebel against her mom. On the day she went missing, her mom overheard her talking to a guy named James. Developing. James A. We're getting somewhere, guys. This is still developing, so I don't have too much info about him. Here's what I can dig up. Oh, uh, yeah. It gets weird. I know a guy when I, who knows the guy who's gone through his phone. They found a weird video of him with chunks of data missing. I'm still trying to get a hold of it. Um. Huh. Well, then. So you want me to read? Okay, I'll- Oh, great. He sums it up anyway. TLDR. James vanished a couple of months ago while on the way out to- Wait for it. To meet someone for Spark. That sounds familiar. There's more. Is there? Combine this with what you have found out. I think there's something bigger at the works here. Okay, I need to record this so we are on the same page. So, um, commencing epic monologue. Anna went missing the same way as James. They were both last seen going on a date with someone on Spark. Anna and James still had activity on Jabber, but no one has physically seen them. Hmm. It's the same pattern. James is still nowhere to be found. I hope Anna doesn't share the same fate. Okay, one question. In that recording, was he in the shower? Because I heard running water. <laughs> okay, I guess we're just gonna politely not mention it. You are right. There are too many similarities between Anna and James for it to be a coincidence. Whatever that's happening right now is spooky <laughs> AF. There's a monster impost- oh my gosh. There's an imposter going around making people disappear and I think he or she is assuming the identity of James. We gotta find him and I think I know how. Ooh. What do I have to say? Let's hear. Let me just check something real quick. I'll get back to you. Wow, thanks. Okay, and with that, we are gonna end this video here. Greg, stop. I don't. Keeps interrupting me. How rude. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna end this video here. When we come back. We obviously have a lot of stuff to check. So, comment what other games I should do next. Like if you liked it, subscribe if you feel like it, and I will see all of you beautiful people in the next video. Bye!